welcome to Talca Park for today's UEFA Conference League first qualifying round fixture between Shelburne and St. Joseph's of Gibraltar. Mark Coyle lays a ball wide to Will Jarvis who could cause real, real problems here. It's cut back towards Coyle. Oh, oh it's there! Mark Coyle, Captain Marvel, has hit the back of the net within 30 seconds here in Tolka Park. What a finish! Oh, you couldn't have asked for a better start. Will Jarvis down the left-hand side, wonderful bit of skill. You can see the... They've obviously done their homework on Jarvis. He attracts two or three players at, at a time. He jinks in and out of them. And then just a little offload to Coyle at the edge of the box. I mean, an absolutely wonderful start for them. They wouldn't have expected this. Have a look at it again. Jarvis just offloads here, doesn't he? Checks his run, Mark Coyle, and just makes sure he gets really good contact. And that's a wonderful finish. They're absolutely shocked, St. Joseph's, but... They've got to build on this now, Stephen. They can't rest in their laurels. They've got to really shove this one home. Make sure they don't sit back. And a pace. Brilliant football there between Tyreek Wilson and Will Jarvis. Jarvis finds it in the box. Just can't get it out from under his feet. And it's half cleared from St. Joseph's. Falls to Liam Burt. Coyle opts against the shot that time. It's Gannon in behind for Matty Smith. Yeah, and flag, yeah, the flag does go up. That's good football from Shells. Loney just... Splits them out and finds Matty Smith. Tries to think one through for Sean Gannon. Just over cooks it. Really good ball from JJ Looney there. Yeah, I like that. I really like mean, the one player that can really kind of tread a ball centrally with pace. That's Ray. Just runs past. Paddy Barrett is over a slide tackle. It's found his way to Liam Walker on the edge of the box. It's a very good effort from Liam Walker. Just flashes wide at Conor Kern's post. So when you look at the game and you, you see that they've, they've packed players through the middle. Gannon in particular, I feel. Oh. Liam Burt, oh, it's just flashed over Alex Navas's crossbar. The goalkeeper was scrambling there, he was worried. Yeah, he's just drifted in, hasn't he, Liam Burt, from this right side, just into that central area. No one's going to close him down. And Jarvis kind of pokes one into him and just sort of sits up for him with his touch. Alvarez is coming around his blind side and Jarvis again. Yeah, Gannon's on out just right hand side and get out to him early. Oh. Disappointing ball from the skipper. It's Facundo Alvarez with a chance to run at Mark Coyle. Alvarez heading for that touch line. Let's touch the pass, Mark Coyle. He's done really well defensively, got his body in the way and won a free kick for his side. Yeah, I did well Coyle on that occasion. You see Alvarez, he kind of had Alvarez match for pace, didn't he? Alvarez. Which has fallen. Pablo Rodriguez. That's one man a captain. Rolls on this side. This is dangerous. Here's Oliveira. Can he dig out a cross? It's well defended from Liam Burt. Yeah, Liam Walker's left foot. Go for the outswinger. It's a decent delivery. Oh, it's fallen Lord. in the box and it's in the back of the net. He didn't even know he was down, Stephen. St. Joseph's have equalised in Talca Park. Let's just hit him. I mean, this is the this is the danger now. Like you know, the delivery's really good, Morgan. I have to say, but Corrado doesn't know what's going on here. Just hits him on his waist. It's an opportunity to have a look at it. Yeah, it's, been, ha it's heavy, Paul. And here's the delivery off. here. It, it, it's it's put into a really good area. Delivery's good, but Corrado doesn't know anything about this. It's just come off him. He doesn't know anything about it. It's just hit him. Yeah, I think it was Sean Gannon. Just Corrado just got out in front of Sean Gannon there, and as you say, Stewie. It's hit off and gone in, but they all count. Go back to maybe the ball that Bar Paddy Barrett played into Liam Bort. You need to sort of tread a few passes in like that a little bit more. Ledwich looks long towards John Martin, who wins the flick on. It'll fall to Boyd in the box, fall oh, back to Martin. Gotta be, gotta be. And the referee points to the spot yeah, from the Shelburne yeah, yeah. penalty. Yeah. Sure, we were calling for a little bit more from John Martin, and the relationship between Boyd and Martin came up trumps there for I the rest. You know what? It's a good little ball up into a good area. You've got to get credit to Martin. He's gone and won this really well. It's pretty much a, a one, you know, it's one v one situation with Tomas. He gets himself up really early, and once he gets into the big man, Sean Boyd, we talk about having that pivotal point. All up steps Will Jarvis. from the penalty and Will Jarvis has fired Shelburne back in the league lead here in Talca Park oh, it's a hell of a penalty I have to say the goalkeeper did everything he could to put him off movement on the, on, on the goal line and Jarvis stuck to the task and my god he's put that in the top corner 
really brave, especially to go on the near side of a right footed. Has all the quality in the world, Jarvis. Felt confident enough to go and take it, and he's put it right in the back of the net. Let's have a little look at it. This is what actually led to the penalty. Martin's win the header here. Follows up his pass from Boyd, and he just. That's great. I mean, even both of them could have given away the. Stewie, how, how many times have you asked for those two centre halves to be tested? To have to actually defend. They've been asked to defend there, and it's ultimately push shells back in the lead. You can see. I mean, even Tomas, the number 20, was giving away that. It was an awful attempt at a clearance. It was lazy and indisciplined. Happy. Alvaro Reyes found himself in a little bit of space. Rolls one here for Jolly. Tries to find Ray again, but runs behind. Connor Kearns goal. Hasn't had much to do. Connor Kearns has some kind of European experience. Played in the UEFA Youth League back in 2017 for UCD. Played well. And space for Will Jarvis here, maybe. Finds Wood. Which went wide to Coote. And he could driving forward, shifts it onto that right foot. It's deflected comfortably. All right for a newspaper there. Here's Tyreek Wilson. It's the treadmill shoot for Jarvis. Gets it out of the feet, crosses. Finds Sean Gannon. Oh, nearly a first European goal for Sean Gannon. And there is the final whistle in Talca Park. A 2-1 victory for Shelburne, their first European game in 18 years. Job done for tonight. Certainly plenty to take from the game, Shuey, but as you've mentioned there, far from the complete performance.